the first act is 21-year-old beatboxer Dave Crow. And this one, this one I've been working on a little bit lately. It's a little bit naughty, but uh, I really like it. Okay, go on. <clears throat> Do you? Do you? Could I do it? It took me two years to get a technique. <laughs> if you got it now, I'd leave. What, that noise? No, that noise is fine. Yeah. You just, like, pretend to be a woman and imagine a guy's, like, stroking your finger across your back and you'd be like... <laughs> do you want to stroke your back? Got it. Ready? No, no, no. No, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And now all you need to do is just make this noise. <laughs> and now go. <laughs> and that'll like help the technique. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds yeah, but wrong. It, so it sounds like you're really enjoying a poo. <laughs> Dave Crow, call me, call me Crow, that'd be... OK, Crow, what's your act? Beatboxer, general noisemaker. Do you think this is something the Royal Family would find entertaining? I think they might, they might dig it, oh, definitely. Right. OK, listen. Crow, yeah. when you're ready. very talented. I think the act's all over the place. Um, I think you're unprepared. <laughs> I do. I do. Look, mate, what Simon Cowell knows about beatboxing can be written on a postage stamp. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I've had the pleasure, I've met Prince Charles a few times, right, and whenever we meet, we normally end up Drop talking beat. about beatboxing, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I think he really would dig you. I do. <laughs> I think he'd dig you. I'm digging you right now. I'm digging you, bro. Oh, I just thought it was incredible. I don't know how you make your mouth do that. You've definitely got talent. This is definitely. what this show is all about. Piers, <laughs> yes or no? Yes, brother. <laughs> Mr. Cowell, your verdict. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Crow, about three yeses. Three yeses. Respect. Very good. Cheers, man. What a reaction. Yeah, it went out really well, though. Like. He's good. He's, He's good. He's really good. What about Piers? He loved it, like, as soon as I started, you know, I th I, to be honest with you, I think he has a real urban hip-hop bean inside of him somewhere that like creeps out whenever somebody does something that he you know an urban bean right i'm telling you he's got an urban bean just in there yeah and whenever anybody beatboxes djs graffitis mcs really well this bean starts like that and he's like yes mm. i think i need to discuss this bean business with the judges well, that's a good sign right now dave the beatboxer brilliant Possibly one of the best we've had? Yes, yes. the best, I think. You know, he and I connected. He's got a message for you. Yeah. He said you got Respect. an... Uh, yeah. Yeah, go he's on. got an... Uh, <laughs> he's words about... He said, Piers, he goes, 
he's got an urban bean. Yeah, yeah. That when he sees a beatboxer or anyone doing graffiti, really? <laughs> like he Banksy. just comes alive. Yeah, yeah, totally. He I just... dig it, man. <laughs> I dig it. He doesn't dig it. Actually, for once I agree with his. <laughs>